We also have a really great idea uh, when Tom is here from SFIX and we've got another one, the Blackout 1 litre Rust Converter Paint for £25. Seeing a brilliant before and after. Oh, it's, yeah. Tom's here. This is really To call this a paint is a massive understatement, yeah. Craig, because it's far more than that. This is a paint, it's a primer and a rust converter all in one, so three in one. So if you're looking at sort of uh, hanging basket brackets that have started to rust maybe through the winter, we can paint them with blackout straight over the rust. It converts the rust to a polymer, primes it and paints it all in one coat. Touch dry as well in just 30 minutes, fully dry, fully cured in just three hours. So you can put this onto steel, wood, aluminium, plastic, copper, carbon fibre, ceramics, brick, stone, you name it, you can paint it. Now what I'm going to do is just put some of the blackout onto here. This is water-based paint, Craig, as well. Now I've only dipped it into that tin once, as you could see. Now let me just show you how far just dipping that once into that tin goes, because it the coverage on this is absolutely wow. phenomenal. So that one tin there, which is one litre, you can actually get up to 10 metres squared coverage from one tin, which is so absolutely... So I guess on this is don't overuse it, don't put you too don't much You don't need to, on. it is no. one coat. So you can put this onto steel, onto wood, onto aluminium, onto plastic. If you're looking at your garden furniture, that's starting to maybe what look weathered. What sort of benefit does it bring to wood then? Because wood doesn't yep. rust. So with wood, you basically put in a, a, a new colour onto it, obviously, but also protecting it using the paint that's there. So you might have got decking, let's say, that's starting to look yeah, a bit weathered. Yeah, yeah. You can put that on maybe yeah. a wooden bird box, that is. Yeah. Now, look at this here. This piece of metal is started to rush. You can mm. see the orange that's mm. in that there into that funnel. Now, normally, I mean, I remember, Craig, as a kid, watching my dad each year at the bottom of the driveway. Well, here we go, back to it, A long time ago, <laughs> a long time ago. But we had wrought iron gates. And every single year, he used to have to get the wire brush out, the drill, he used to have to take all the rust out, he used to then have to prime it using a primer, then he used to have to buy a specialist paint, which was normally a solvent-based paint as well, and then a year later, it had all cracked. Now, I've just painted that there, straight over it, that was steel, that was, uh, that was rusting, using the blackout in one coat, and, one coat only. And you put it straight on there, do you need to sort of prep the surface before only you Only if you've got on? big chunks of loose rust, right. remove them first, right. but then you can just go straight over it, no okay. problem. Okay. I mean, even things like this, if you've got an old terracotta oh, pot no. or something like yeah. that in the garden, you can see that's all started to weather. Yeah. You can bring it back to life that. using blackout. And you, and you know that matte black is a real trend in yeah. the minute as well, Yeah, well, this it? is a satin matte black yeah. as well. So again, hanging basket brackets, if you're looking at that, if you're looking at hinges on your shed, or the gate that are all starting to rust. Just literally put one coat of the blackout straight over, no problem at all, and that's it. But let's Just to share with our viewers quickly, Tom, this comes out to you on the week of the 24th of February, um, and we won't take the payment until it's sent out to you as well. Beg your pardon, 24th of January it gets sent out to you, and we won't take the payment until it's sent out to you. Yep. Now, the thing is, Craig, there's lots of paints out there on the market. However, what we want is we want a paint that's going to be, that's going to last, you know, it's going to be strong. Now, what you tend to find with solvent-based paints is they tend to flake. Once you've put them on, over time the paint flakes off. I've painted this plastic bottle with blackout paint and I want you to show you something really special because I can actually crunch this bottle even though it's plastic and painted. Oh, so it still keeps it flexible. It stays permanently flexible. In fact, we guarantee clever. it to stay permanently flexible. I can crunch so that bottle. obviously means it's not going to crack as well. So it's not going to crack. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Tin foil. I've actually painted this tin foil here, Craig, uh. using the blackout <laughs> paint. I can put a we crease can make a hat for all the way down there. No problem at all. In fact, I can scrunch that all the way up. Now, there's so many creases and lines and things in this tin yeah. foil. You would expect that that blackout is going to fail. It doesn't. It stays permanently flexible. It also can withstand temperatures of up to 250 degrees down to minus 40. So if you're thinking of doing a chimney, yeah. a barbecue, things like that, you don't have to worry. What about old tools? I mean, here I've got this old vice here, this old wrench, sorry. You can see it's starting to weather. But if I just turn that around there so you can see, I've treated it with blackout, it brings it back brand new. It protects it, it converts the rust, and it primes all in one coat. Do you know what this does, Tom? Because I think now we got to a point where everything, we were replacing things, and we're now going back to much more of a make, do, and mending to yep. preserve things, aren't we? This is perfect for that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's yeah. have a look at some before and after. What sort of thing are we seeing? So they're hanging, this is a hanging basket bracket. So these are you know, notorious for through the winter for starting to rust. They are made from mild steel. 
treat it with blackout, uh, and that's it completely uh, treated. This is actually a drum, a brake drum off a vehicle. So if, if you know anybody who's doing vehicle restoration, it's fantastic for you. You could put this onto the chassis, you could put this onto the brake drum. It'll convert the rust, it will uh, protect it, it will prime it, and it will leave that satin coat finish as well. Tow bar, if you've oh, got yeah. a tow bar on your car, oh, again, these are notorious. Yeah, yeah. Tends to be the bracket where the actual plug socket goes in, where you plug the trailer into. That always tends to rust. In fact, that is the tow bar off my car. That's what we use there. Oh, is it? Treated it with blackout. It's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, listen, over 100 of you have ordered this already. It's getting busier as well. Going to be with you the week of the 24th of January, only £25. And actually now, I think, as we go out of winter, look forward to spring, this is the perfect time to invest this. is it. In this this is the it? time now to do it, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it might not be right this second, but over the next two, three, four weeks, you're going to be getting back out into the garden. You're going to start noticing these things yeah. at once, sort of doing up, making look nice again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this here is just to show you, really, this is polystyrene. If I was to paint this with a solvent-based product, it would melt it, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can see I've painted even polystyrene with blackout, and it doesn't melt it. In fact, Craig, that there is my chimney. I yeah. brought it in from home. Do you want to have a rusty look in chimney? Actually, you know what? I treated that once for the video yeah. and had to re rust it using oh, an you? angle grinder and wire brush and everything to get it back to that so state. So, what's the technique then? So that, just dip the dip brush, not too much. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. then across the top, just paint over it. I want you to see, Craig, how easy this goes on. Well, it because does, doesn't it? Goes you're not a decorator. Like, goes I'm on not like a silk. Yeah. yeah. It's really easy. Anybody can do it. And this is what I wanted to show you because yeah, look. decorating at home is something I'm not particularly great at, if I'm quite honest with you. However, using blackout paint, it's because it's so sort of such a thin viscosity. Yeah, it's absorbing it into with. that. It is. And it also goes into all the nooks and crannies. Straight into the nooks Doesn't and crannies. But that's Tease how as well in. you get such longevity yeah. out of the tin. You're going to use it over and over again. And as well, I need to mention the shelf life of the tin, you'll easily get two years out of this. So even if you're not wanting to rush to use it, no. you don't have to worry, pop it in the shed, absolutely fine. Well, listen, we're now up to 200 people and climbing. And there it is, said yeah. chimney. Yeah, that's it. That's the, that is the chimney that we did. But obviously it looks I've had like to... a brand new one afterwards. Brand new. It? it really does, yeah. I mean, you can bring it back to, like, brand new. I'll tell you where some, something else, we've used it a lot. We've got a hinge that's on the... The gate on the uh, the fencing at the back on the right. back garden that hinge always rusts. You know it always rusts. I've treated it now though with blackout. It will never rust again. It's protected. So vehicle restoration perfect for garden furniture, old tools, you name it. You can use this inside or outside. It's odorless. It's permanently flexible. With will withstand from minus 40 to plus 250 degrees. So it's fine on a chimney or a barbecue. And you're just going to use it all around, to be honest. See, I wonder, if you're at home thinking, thinking of all the different jobs you could do with this, it might be worth ordering a couple of tins of this. Unbel yeah, it really would. I mean, this, the thing is, there's two times of the year where you're going to use this mainly. Now and autumn. Yeah. That's it. You can order yours online.